Brian Maracek. I'm 27 years old. I work for Lucky Bohemian Farms. It's a family farm. Um, we've been farming for about 32 years now, uh, started by my parents, Mike and Laura Maracek. So I went to WSU for a uh, bachelor's in science of, of horticulture with a viticulture and enology emphasis. Looking down the road is always pretty challenging, especially when planting and selecting a new variety and whether or not what the longevity of that crop is really going to be as far as marketplace, um, quality parameters, post-harvest, and as far as long-term goes, really trying to select systems with the least amount of labor um, needed as well as the highest amount of yield per acre as possible, um, keeping in mind um, the amount of capital it takes to do these kind of systems um, what's feasible, what's not, especially as a private or as a uh, independent grower such as ourselves. The amount of labor you used to be able to get and need, you're going to have to get, a by, get by with less and you're going to have to figure out how to make them more efficient every day. Hiring people for six, for hiring a hundred people for ten days and then laying all of them off and then trying to get them back two months later, those days are gone. You know, you, you need to be able to to operate with a smaller crew for a longer period of time so that people don't jump off the ship and find another job elsewhere. So it's labor retention and trying to diversify so that one, you're diversifying in area, two, you're diversifying um, in commodities and varieties, and three, diversifying so that it allows for labor retention. Um, a lot of people put things into the ground just for that reason. Um, whether it be something in between cherries and apples or pears, um, like blueberries. Um, you know, keeping those people busy is one of the biggest challenges, absolutely.